Hello, Russ of Aquarimax Pets here. Recently I posted a video of my bumblebee dart frogs tadpole. I've had these frogs for around nine years, something like that, and I thought they were tadpole days were over, but as you may have seen in my recent video, they produced a tadpole and I have been raising it. So let's take a look at the progress that tadpole has made. It is much larger now and has, uh, as you can see, developed color has grown in all of its limbs, and is very active. Uh, at this point, it is focusing on making a lot of changes. It's not eating during this point in its metamorphosis, but rather absorbing that tail. And it will use the uh, nutrients in that tail as it goes through this process. And once it finishes metamorphosing completely, then it will start eating again. I can start feeding it springtails for a little while before it can actually start taking melanogaster fruit flies. And this is not its normal setup at this stage of life. Let me demonstrate a little bit what that's going to look like. So once I noticed the tadpole was starting to get front legs, which uh, it doesn't do as gradually as it does the back legs, the front limbs or forelimbs develop inside the body of the tadpole. And when they are fully developed, they exit very dramatically. And the back legs on the, in contrast develop very uh, gradually and you can watch the entire process. So once I noticed the sides of the tadpole bulging with the front legs, I moved it to this enclosure, which is a 32 ounce deli cup with a ventilated lid, just the exact same one I would use for culturing fruit flies. And I put it on its side like this. I have it set up in a place where it's supported so it can be on its side so that the tadpole can leave the water as it just has done and uh, has a gradient of water depth. It has the deep end over there where the moss and the oak leaf are, but it can come up here on land if it so desires. And that is to keep it from drowning because once its legs, uh, its forelegs emerge at about that time is when it has to transition to breathing mostly atmospheric air. It does uh, perform some respiration through its skin, but the bulk of its respiration is done as I understand it correctly, through um, just breathing air as it does in as an adult, it needs to be in a place where it can leave the water when it desires to do so, otherwise it could drown. So it's going to be in here for another week or two while its tail is slowly absorbed into its body, at which point it will start to live the life of an adult dart frog. So I hope you enjoyed this little update on my bumblebee dart frog tadpole. This is uh, the third time I've raised a bumblebee dart frog tadpoles. Uh, I've, I've raised more than three, but uh, I've had three clutches, and this is a clutch of one. So it's really fun to watch them. It's really fun to watch their color develop and just the entire process. And I will give another update in not too long. Thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video. Mm -hmm.